Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. Today we're back with another vlog. I just got home yesterday from a Christmas break and we are already back with another vlog. It is the start of a new semester. So in this vlog, we'll be prepping for semester two and you guys will be joining me for my first day of classes. Before we get into it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more lifestyle videos and vlogs. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we've got a new reed diffuser going for a new semester and I also made a cup of green tea today Which I haven't done in months. We're just gonna try something different, you know So today we're gonna be doing a bunch of things. I need to update my notion template for the new semester I also need to make some new book covers because I'm taking I think five new classes this semester But first on the agenda is going to be going through my emails because I haven't checked them in a while Okay, so some of those emails had tasks that I actually had to complete, so that took a little bit longer than expected, but it's okay. We're gonna get started on my Notion setup. If you guys would like me to do another Notion tour showing you guys how I use it as a uni student, then comment down below and let me know. But otherwise, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna screen record a little bit. So this is what my Notion setup looks like now. We're not really gonna go in depth with it today. Today, I'm really just gonna revamp it and show you guys how I'm setting it up for this semester. For semester Semester one, this worked out pretty well, so I'm actually just gonna duplicate this. Okay, so this I'm gonna rename to semester one, and I'm gonna put it in my old templates, and then we're gonna work on this one for the new semester. So I'm gonna try and make my life easier by keeping almost everything the same. I'm just gonna go through all of my classes that I have on my timetable over here, just rename the different modules. And then I'm just going to delete these assignments because obviously I'm going to get new assignments for this module tomorrow. Okay, so I do have one extra class. This research methods and consulting skills module is staying on from last semester, so I need to create a new one for this extra module. Let me duplicate one of these, make my life easier so that I don't have to redo my table. So I need a new cover for this one. I like going for like a brown nude aesthetic, so I'm literally just gonna type that in here. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. I think that actually looks really good. Tomorrow we're gonna update this assignment section. I'm gonna go into my weekly to-do list. Okay, so my Notion setup is pretty much done. Obviously, we'll be updating it throughout the week with assignments, but for now, I'm happy. So let's move on to my notebooks for my modules. Okay, this is gonna sound crazy, but working on my Notion has actually gotten me excited for semester two. I'm like looking at my modules and I'm kind of excited. Like tomorrow we have web marketing and analytics. So I'm excited to learn more about that. And also we've got social media analytics, obviously. I'm on social media, so I'm excited to do that. I'm actually looking forward to most of my classes this semester and you guys will be along for most of the journey. I wish I could vlog every week but honestly it takes so much effort to edit those weeks in my life. I'm not gonna lie that last week of my life that I did just made me be like that is the last time I'm doing a week of my life because it took me forever to edit it. So that is why I chose to do a prep with me and then a first day of school so that's like two days I can edit that a little bit faster but comment down below and let me know what you guys prefer because if you guys really do like week in the life I can make it happen but I'm gonna need a little bit more motivation 
in. So let me know whether you prefer a week in my life video or a day in my life. That moment when you realize that your iPad wasn't charging, but that's fine. We've got 60%. We can make a lot happen with that. So as you guys saw last semester, I started using my iPad to take notes. It's the first time I've done this in my schooling career, but I'm actually really into it. And I created these really cute notebooks for each of my classes. So it has like a cover page and then it has like a class overview with information about the course. And then it has like a to-do list. To be honest, I didn't actually use the to-do list. Like I used it like the first week, maybe even the second week, and then I stopped using it. And then it's got different pages for note-taking. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna keep it going for this semester. So we're just gonna hop into my Canva. You guys know I love Canva. I will have a 30-day free trial linked down below. So working smarter, not harder. We're gonna duplicate my notebooks from last time and just change the cover page with the new title for the new module. I am gonna have to make one new cover because I do have an extra module this semester. Okay, so for this module, we're gonna need a new cover. I'm just gonna go into templates and I already have brown aesthetic saved here. I'm just gonna type in brown aesthetic, go through the different options, see what I like. This one's kind of cute, but it's not brown enough. Maybe this one, it's a little busy though. Okay, I think that looks really good. I think it matches with everything. As you can see, this is why I like Canva so much. You can really customize it to exactly what you want. And just to show you guys from within Canva, this is what the pages look like. I inserted a table myself. This font is the Seasons font, which I really like. And then I've got my assignment log here. And here's my to-do list. I think I actually just typed in to-do list under templates. And then I just like copied what I found. It was this one that I just copied. and then. And this is what the pages look like and then I put in little boxes for like the topic and the date I also put in like a paper background if you can see it really simple but really cute so I'm just gonna download these and put them on my iPad Okay, I'm gonna head off to get breakfast from Tesco. I'm thinking like a breakfast sandwich or something easy that I can just pop in my air fryer or in my sandwich press or something. Okay, so I got a sausage, bacon, and egg triple. It comes with three slices, but I think I'm only gonna have two. I also stopped by a reception to pick up a package. So inside here, we've got some Polaroid photos. I am finally getting to my photo wall, you guys. We're gonna be putting up photos on this wall and also putting up my theory lights up here, but that is later on this evening. guys i had to take off my hoodie that hoodie makes me so nervous because it's from youtube it is literally one of a kind has my name on it and everything and it is in my least favorite color for clothing white i hate wearing white especially when i'm eating because i don't trust myself so yeah i definitely wish that hoodie wasn't black i've only worn it this is the second time i'm wearing it because i'm so scared to mess it up Okay, so after an extended break, I am going to get started with my research proposal. So essentially, I need to write about 500 words on the dissertation topic that I am choosing. It's actually not for grades. It's really just for me to be assigned a supervisor. So the different lecturers are going to look over the research proposals and just kind of like see who is more suitable for which one. So I do have a very broad topic in mind that I haven't actually narrowed down into like a specific research question. So that's what I'm going to work on i have about two weeks to get it done 500 words two weeks it's not even for grades i think i'll be fine
I don't think I'm any closer to narrowing down a topic. This is like the hardest thing ever. I just have too many ideas, but it's fine. We're gonna move on to my little photo gallery wall situation. So I actually ordered Polaroids from a company called Photobox. This is not sponsored by the way, but it is so simple. You just download the app and then you pick out the photos that you wanna print. I got mine in Polaroid form, but you can just get them like as normal printouts as well. Or I think they even like sell calendars and lugs and all that stuff. I've used them once before for like for a test print i printed out like four photos and they turned out well so hopefully these do as well so they come in a little pack like this and ah, boom oh my god these look so good okay some of them are a little grainy which i'm not the biggest fan of but i think they're pretty good like i feel like i got what i paid for and maybe the graininess is kind of like a retro vibe so i went with photos from 2023 there's a photo from when we went to wembley stadium which you guys saw in a vlog i also have a few photos from my aunt's wedding i have a photo from um, a YouTube event I went to last year. I also printed out some photos from Greece. Here's a photo from Krakow. I had some like family photos as well that we took, which is so nice. So yeah, we're just gonna put these up on my little wall. It says here I got 30 prints. I did not know I got so many, and I think it came to like 20 pounds, including delivery, so not too bad. I also have some gold pins for the cork board. I got these from Amazon, so I have them linked down below. And and I have two sets of fairy lights. I've got these from Primark. And then I've got these from Amazon as well. So I'll have them linked down below. All we have is the moment. Just text, I know it's a toss -up. Okay, so this is how the photo wall turned out. That actually took me an hour. I know because I was watching an hour long YouTube video. It was a little bit difficult to kind of like match everything up. I was actually left with about eight photos and I didn't put them up because I just felt like it no longer fit the vibe when I was like almost done. So I think this is what we're going with right now. It actually looks very small, but this is like 20 photos. And also it was not easy getting the pins in this board. This is like the toughest piece of material ever. I have some some blisters on my hands but it's okay also these fairy lights from primark are so long i had to wrap it around twice so that's kind of like why i have them at the back and then at the front the last thing that i want to do that's kind of in line with that vibe is put some fridge magnets on my mini fridge so if you watch my greece and poland vlogs you will know that throughout my travels i was picking up fridge magnets here we've got one from athens here's one from warsaw that i picked up at the airport Airport. I actually didn't vlog this one. And then we have this one from Krakow. So that is it for me today. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for our first official day of classes. So it's Tuesday, first day of classes. I'm gonna head out now. I'm pretty much gonna be on campus for the whole morning and part of the afternoon. So I'm gonna grab some food before I head off. But yeah, looking forward to it. Today is web marketing and analytics and data mining and analytics. So yeah, outfit of the day, just this cute orange sweater, some black jeans and my Adidas shoes.
I did stop by a little Antesco on the way home. So here's a little grocery haul. Baby spinach, double cream, Belgian chocolate mousse, steak bakes, eggs, king prawns, red seedless grapes, dried mango, two packs, avocados, and some fries. You guys, I have a cup of coffee in my hand. You have no idea how much I've been looking forward to this cup of coffee. In my lectures, I was just daydreaming about it. That was so long. I have not had back-to-back -back lectures like that since I was at Vits. And honestly, I had way more energy when I was 18, 19 years old. Like today, it took it out of me. And it's gonna be like that the whole semester. As far as the classes went today, so we had web marketing in the morning, which wasn't actually a lecture. Essentially, it kind of ended up being more of a meeting with a business who wanted us to help them with their social media marketing so they were just more so explaining their business to us and we were asking them questions about like the kind of goals that they have in terms of social media reach engagement and all that stuff so it ended up not being that much about web marketing hopefully we'll get into it more next week data mining went okay so far it was just an intro lecture so far we don't have any group assignments which we love we did a little bit of excel in the labs because we're going to be using excel to do logistic regression and clustering and all of this other stuff so we just went through excel just for like people who don't have experience doing that just teaching them kind of like the basics and stuff luckily for me i did cat so shout out to my computer applications technology teacher because turns out i remember a lot more than i thought i did so now what i'm gonna do is show you guys how i add in my assignments on my notion template you know to help with the organization make sure that i start assignments at the right time and that I don't miss my deadlines. <laughs> So I took down my assignments while I was in class. So we have them here on my iPad. So basically I have a monthly calendar view on my Notion. So I'll just go to the date of my assignment. We'll start with web marketing. The first thing we have is a test that is on the 5th of March. So I'll add that here. Well, typically what I do is I'll type due type what type of assessment it is then i put in the module code i've made all of this into tags and the colors correspond to the same colors in my to-do list i also write down the module title because I know I won't remember what the codes stand for. And then as far as type, this is where I put whether it's individual or group assignment. Then I duplicate this by hitting control and then selecting delete. And I'll put a start time. So essentially, that is when I should start studying for the test. And I usually like to give myself a month before. Some people think that's really early in advance. Personally, I've been finding myself completing assignments within three weeks. So I like having the extra week because you never know what's going to pop up. Something could happen that prevents me from working for a couple of days so at least if i have that extra buffer i also don't like stressing myself out last minute and i also don't have the mental capacity to work longer than like two three hours on a specific subject a day so you won't catch me sitting and working on the same exact assignment for eight hours that day like it's not gonna happen so because i know i can only handle like two three hours i usually like to take my time so a month before so we'll start preparing for this february 5th which is literally around the corner and basically i I just do the same thing for every single assignment. In cases where the month before is like on the weekend, I know I'm probably not gonna start doing an assignment on a Sunday, so I just roll it over to the following Monday. Okay, so so far that is what that's looking like. I'm obviously going to add to it throughout the rest of the week. Okay, so now I'm just gonna work on my dissertation. Still trying to narrow down a topic, you guys. I just need to pick one and just go with it. that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you want to see more vlogs like this then let me know down below be sure to like comment and subscribe to join the c squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos i'll see you guys in my next one bye